In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. So, Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have recompense, but if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? that when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many possible. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share in it. Do you not know that runners in the stadium all run in the race? But only one wins the prize. Run so as to win. Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown, but we an imperishable one. Thus, I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as if I were shadow boxing. No. I drive my body and train it for fear that after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The response. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. How, How lovely, lovely is your dwelling place, place Lord, Lord mighty, mighty God. God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely, lovely is your dwelling place, place Lord, Lord mighty God. God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Bless they who dwell in your house. Continually they praise you. Bless the men whose strength you are. Their hearts are set upon the pil pilgrimage. How lovely, lovely is, is your, your dwelling, dwelling place, place Lord, Lord mighty, mighty God. God. For a sun and a shield is the Lord God. Grace and glory he bestows. The Lord withholding no good thing from those who walk in sincerity. How lovely, How lovely is, is your dwelling place, place, Lord mighty God. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher. But when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove the splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite! Remove the wooden beam from your eye first. Then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. My dear friends in Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear friends. What is a common mistake In an, in an unsuccessful friendship, it is being judgmental by the persons in that relationship. They may let sleep for a few times, but surely it is marked on their minds and hearts that some of their friends are judgmental and self-centered. Soon, it would end to broken friendship. Not just in friendships, but also in other relationships with our neighbors. We may not recognize our own faults, and we think only of ourselves. We have this attitude of correcting people as if We don't have close to. Jesus said in our gospel for today, Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? You see, Jesus wants to give us lesson about not to judge others because we are also having mistakes of our own. In every relationship we had, we need to participate with someone or everyone to have a harmonious and successful relationship. We should refrain from criticizing others and the me first mentality. Jesus wants us to look out for the needs of others rather than our own. Do not accuse or judge others right away if you cannot accuse and judge yourself. Do not make excuses for your actions and failures. My dear friends, let us practice humility and we judge others It must be a judgment of mercy and forgiveness. Stop judging others, my dear friends in Christ. Amen. Please all stand. Let us now turn to God the Father of, of us all, with the needs of our neighbors in our world. For the church throughout the world, may God continue to bless, purify, and sanctify her in building His kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in public office, may God bless their efforts in defending the dignity and sanctity of life from conception to natural death, let us pray to the Lord. 
were victims of violence, war, and hatred. May the Lord grant them healing and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. For those gathered here today, may God who is love grow in us an ever greater spirit of compassion and love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, may they rejoice forever in the presence of God. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray also for the speedy recovery of Dr. L. Aldrin and Dr. Ashila Sukil up. And we pray also for the speedy recovery of Cardinal Chito Tagle. And also for the souls of Romy Batenga, Ruben Ortiz, and all the souls in Purgatory. We pray also our frontliners, front those who died in this pandemic, those are positive patients because of this coronavirus. And we pray also for peace. Peace all over the world. Peace here in United States of America. Peace in our hearts and peace in our homes. Let us pray to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. Loving God, we offer these prayers to you in complete trust in your love and compassion. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and pork of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, wash my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, to Almighty Father. O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with all the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the founder of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the jupiter so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and their parishioners, our deacons, non-seminarians, and those who are helping our parish Corpus Christi, those who are sick, those who have cancer, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. In family, all together, with our humble heart, let us pray to our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to the temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear friends in Christ, this is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those who are called to his supper. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Those who are not able to uh, 
participate our daily masses and they are not able to receive Jesus Christ through Holy Communion we just reverently pray the spiritual prayer communion that you can see to the screen of your TV and to your cell phone Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and do with life, to the food you, you to the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts, that we may merit an eternal share in His life. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Mass ascended. Go and let us pray for one another. Thanks be to God.